Right, okay, right in here, let's uh, change up the color representation of the rebar based on the diameter. Right in here, I'm gonna change the diameter into, could be like, uh, all right, could be like, uh, I know this make no sense, it could be maybe 16. This one goes, the stirrup goes right into 14R. And also the longitudinal rebar goes right into 32R. And the last one goes right into, well, 32R. All right. Make sure that you select nothing and they can go to the visibility graphics override. Right in here, we can have filter option here. And we're gonna add a new filter. And finally, here also, gonna add a new filter. Create new filter. A lot of things we're gonna define each and every time. This could be like, maybe, this is for, This could be like 32R. Right now, what you're gonna go for, the filter will be applied right into the structural rebar. Where is it? Structural rebar. And in structural rebar, I'm gonna be using the bar diameter. Bar diameter shall be equal to 32. Oh, so I provided one for 32 here. Okay, all right picking up okay so that will be right in here in here I'm gonna pick up a type of a solid fill having maybe the color could be a magenta that's it all right let's see what's gonna happen here so you know there you can see anything right getting to the shaded view you can see um, the bar has been changing her size Alright, I got a pink bar, 